this is going to be a general read for whoever finds it. All right. So I like to call these reads, Is This Your Story? So that's what we're going to do today. So you're going to have to ask yourself, is this your story? Am I picking up on it? You know, um, since I'm an energy reader, I can pick up on whoever's story. Um, they are being so loud today. Completely unnecessary. One second. All right. Sorry about that. So since I'm an energy reader, I can pick up on people's energy. Um, those that are subscribed to me, those that comment, um, or those that just tune in often. So I don't know what story we're going to pick up on today, but we're going to pick up on one of y'all's stories. So this is going to be one of those reads. Is this your story? All right. And welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. All right. You got your girl bunny here. Let's, I don't even know. I'm not even prepared. I have no, let's start with the dragon tarot. Why not? I just have, you know, like just the vibe to work. So let's just, let's just dive right in. Actually, I'm going to clean this space with some sound healing. One sec. All right. So we are going to start with the dragon tarot. Like I said. All right. What needs to come out? Thank you for allowing me to do the channel for source messages. I'm going to invite my guides, my star family, my ancestors, and whoever this reading is for, their guides are welcome here as well. Let's dive in, guys. All right. Go ahead and take a deep breath with me and let it out. Let's see what's going to come out right away. I already took a nice deep breath. This is my way to relax. We have two of wands. Ooh, wait. Five of cups. So somebody's trying to make a decision about something. And, oh my gosh, hold on one second. All right, sorry about that. It was far too noisy out there. So I had to lay down the law. All right, so we have the Two of Wands, Five of Cups. So someone's trying to make a decision between two different paths. That's what it feels like. And, you know, there's a lot of inner conflict going on. Ooh, we have the sun. Whatever path you choose, <laughs> it's going to lead to happiness. So there's no worries there. <laughs> There it is. Like, you don't need to worry. We have the Hierophant. So it feels like someone is trying to commit to something. Okay. You've been feeling like you've been chained up for a long time. Like, you're trying to figure out a way to liberate yourself from something. Right? You're trying to figure out a way to free yourself from something, okay? That's what it feels like. And if you look here, the dragon is, he's chained up. So this is about freeing yourself from something, some sort of liberation. It could have something to do with the home, right? The hero fans is Taurus. It's the card of Taurus, right? But this also represents wanting to free yourself from something in regards to your home life. For some of you, it feels like you want to move. Or maybe move away from something, right? Like maybe moving house or something. Either way, look, we have the Ten of Cups that came out after this. So we have the Ten of Cups and we have the Sun. Once this decision is made to do what you want to do anyways, right? 
you're going to feel liberated. It's going to bring you so much joy with the Ten of Cups and the Sun. Like, I feel like this whole, like, inner conflict with yourself, you know, is just because you're questioning, like, whether or not you're taking the right path. But you know the path because the Five of Cups also has to deal with sadness. So there's something about this path that no longer resonates with you. All right, let's pull one more card in regards to this situation. What is the what else is the advice for this person who is struggling with this path? Please, spirit. What is the other other advice? Ooh, a card flipped. It didn't come out though. Wow, three of cups. So whatever it was, it's been very painful for you. Or that's, I was thinking three of swords. That's not three of swords. That's three of cups. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's going to create lots of joy for you when you move on, whenever you make the decision. For some reason, I was thinking that was three of swords, not it's three of cups. Which is like celebration and joy. Could have been a third party situation here too that you're struggling with. Like someone. I don't know. But love didn't really come out. So let's. What is, what is the advice? Spirit is saying right now they want you to follow your joy. Follow your bliss. Follow the path that feels right and roll with the changes. Death is about change. So whatever decision you're going to make, it's going to change everything, okay? Three of Cups is about following your joy, all right? Try not to get stuck in this energy of this sadness. If you feel like you've chosen the wrong path, follow the path that, follow the path of bliss, and that's going to bring you to your Ten of Cups, your Three of Cups, and your Sun, which are all cards of happiness. Ooh, and look what's on the bottom of the deck. It's the Lovers. I don't know if Love's going to come out, but we're going to draw some more cards. So <clears throat> I'm going to move on to the Light Seers and see what else comes out, guys. Whoa. All right. Okay, let's go on to the light seers and see if anything else comes out for you. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Why is it doing that? <laughs> it's like... I, was, I split this deck into two, two different decks because I have such small hands. It takes forever for me to shuffle. Like, if I leave it in one deck, I, mean, I can do it, but... All right, what else does this person need to know? Whoever's tuned in. All right, let's try to do it like that. Yeah, I managed to get it in one shuffle. Ooh, oh no. And I dropped them all, of course. That's why I don't like to shuffle it in one deck because then shit like that happens. All right, what else do we have? Let's get a few cards from here, Spirit. What else? We have Knight of Swords. Okay. The Star. Let's get two more from the stack, please, Spirit. The Hermit. What else? One more, please. All right. Five of Pentacles. Okay. So, relationship-wise, whoever this is for, You may have felt a little bit misunderstood, a little bit this feeling of left out in the cold, something you expected to work out, right? 
and it didn't quite work out how you wanted it to, right? So there's this energy of like someone that came in quickly, romantic wise, but they were not prepared for what you had to offer. Okay, I'm just going to say that. <laughs> so, you know, it looked good on paper for both of you. And then for some reason, they just couldn't fully step up. All right. But both of you are clinging on to this hope that it can still work out. Okay. I see that you took a lot of time out from this person and it caused you a lot of grief. Okay. And where you wanted to walk through the door, right, you ended up being left out in the cold. There was something about not being able to move forward with something. All right, what's the advice on this for it? What's the advice on this? Ten of Pentacles. So it feels like this person might come back around. So the Ten of Pentacles is a pretty happy, happy card. This is the, the happy family card. So I'm not saying in any way it's like put your life on hold for this person. But from this card, it looks like they're going to come back around and you're going to be able to make another round together. All right. How does this person feel? About the person watching right now. How does this person... Wow. Okay, that card flew out. So, they feel that you're very attractive. They're very attracted to you. They see... So, they see you as the Queen of Pentacles, right? The Queen of Pentacles is like someone who's very seductive. Very... Um, you know, attractive. And the energy is like... There's this sort of like, I can't even describe it. It's, it's going to sound weird. There's this energy of like juicy <laughs> deliciousness. Like they see you as like, um, as like a snack, I guess. <laughs> like, let me try to describe this in like words that would make sense. So when they, when they look at you, they, like their mouth starts watering, almost like when they see something that they want to eat, that's like delicious, like a cake or something. Like, I just keep getting this feeling of like wanting to like eat something. Like, you know how when you see something that's really delicious, um, like a piece of chocolate or something that you really, really like pizza or whatever, and your mouth starts watering, you're like, oh my God, I am so hungry for that. So that's the feeling that's coming through. I know it's really weird. Sometimes it's really hard to like describe the energy, but that's what it feels like. So I don't know what the problem is or what happened in this. What was the problem between these two? Let's just ask that. Okay. So what was the issue between these two? Please. Because it seems like both y'all were into each other a lot. So, strength. So, that doesn't really seem like an issue. But, so they might have felt like you were a little bit too good for them. The strength card is about being very, like, independent and sort of knowing what you want, right? It's Leo energy. It's like this fire sign, like kind of headstrong, stubborn. But most importantly, you know, it's a, it's a, the card of like a strong person, a strong personality. So they might have felt like They weren't sure if they were good enough for you. Maybe they felt like intimidated. That's the energy, right? But look, on the bottom of the deck, Knight of Cups, they want to continue with this love offer. 
if this person hasn't came forward, right? I feel like they really have wanted to. And look, we have Ace of Cups. In two of wands so see like they hesitated a lot all right so what's gonna be the outcome for this romance please let's just ask that question what's gonna be the outcome for these two <clears throat> and then we're gonna move on what's gonna be the outcome for these two I feel like for some reason they were really intimidated by your energy and so they may have came in really quickly in the start, in the beginning, and then like hesitated and sort of backed away, which left you feeling really alone. Does that make sense? Whoever this is for? Okay. So what's going to be the outcome between these two beautiful souls? What's going to be the outcome for these two? Page of Wands. So, this is a card of joy. This is a card of learning about each other. So, I think if you, if this person decides to make a step towards you, because this person has been learning about you, watching your social media, they have been trying to discover things about you and they've realized that you make them really, really happy. Okay. And that trumps any other thing that they feel about, you know, not feeling good enough or not wanting to step up because they're intimidated. Okay. You make them really happy. And they've been trying to learn more about you, okay? <clears throat> and that's why they're watching your social media and stuff. So if this person does come forward, the Page of Wands lets me know that you guys are going to have a really fun, joyful time together, okay? <clears throat> like the Page of Wands is about experiencing excitement and joy. It's about, you know, like childlike curiosity and all that stuff. So, it's not like the greatest love card to get, right? But it shows that you're both going to learn a lot from each other. And you're going to experience lots of joy in this relationship if you decide to go forward with it, okay? So, let's get one more card for you in regards to this connection and then we're going to move on, okay? Ace of Wands. Yeah, see, they do want a relationship with you, okay? Whoever this person is, the Ace of Wands represents a new relationship and also a really fiery, passionate connection. And, and it also represents a very passionate sexual connection, okay? I'm going to pull two cards for you about this situation from the Love Oracle. And then we're going to close off. with a where is my I was going to do my animal deck but I don't think it's in here so we'll do an angels and or angels and um, ancestors card for you okay alright let's see what else let's get two cards in regards to this connection ooh they flew out very nice All right, so we have single and home. So this is what this is what this is telling me. If you're single right now, you're definitely not going to be single for long, okay? And it looks like this person has ideas of getting a home with you, right? So if that's in regards to this connection, which it is because I pulled on the connection, that's what we got. Now for some of you that are not interested in this love portion, then this is telling me that if you're in a relationship, you will be single soon, okay? 
if that's what you're wondering about. And some of you are going to be buying a home. It's funny because in the beginning of this reading, that's what was coming out, right? It was like buying a home. Remember? Something along those lines. All right, so we're going to end with an Angels and Ancestors card. And we're going to conclude this reading. Let's see what's up. All right, what is the final message that you want this person to know that is watching? What is the final message for this beautiful soul that is watching right now? I have no idea what to call this reading. <laughs> so maybe we'll find a clue in this card right here. All right, what else? What is the final message you have for this person? If anything in this reading resonated, please like and subscribe. Both things that are free to do. I have two tip jars if you feel so guided to tip me. I also have a Patreon if you want to support me. It's only $5 a month. If you want to book a reading, all of my prices are in the description box below. For those of you that have already booked, keep in mind that I do usually have a waiting list. So, you know, I will take the order and who was booked first. So just so you know. All right. Snake. Shed old skin. Boom. Time to shed that old skin. I'm going to read it for you from the book. But shed old skin. That's a warrior symbol. Very nice. Very nice. Warrior symbol. The snake is also about like the Kundalini energy. It's about transformation, sexuality. So take that how it resonates. Cast off the old, reveal your true colors, talents, and gifts to the world. In many spiritual traditions, the snake offers powerful medicine. Wow. In tantric teachings, it symbolizes the kundalini. I just fucking said that, didn't I? Damn, I'm good. Toot toot. Okay. I had to toot my little horn, remember? Whenever I, <laughs> whenever, whenever I get something right and I'm channeling, like, correctly, <laughs> which is, you know, pretty much all the time. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> usually whenever a card will verify the energy that I'm reading I'll do my little I'll say well I just need to toot my own horn and do the toot toot so <laughs> that's where that comes from if you're new to my channel all right I promise I'm not crazy a little bit okay in tantric teachings it symbolizes the kundalini which is the powerful serpentine energy within that allows you to reach your highest spiritual potential Ooh, fantastic when the sacred ones saw a snake in nature or encountered one in a dream, they knew that there was transformation in the air. For me, the snake card not only represents the shedding of old skin, but moving beyond the limitations caused by carrying the venom of negative thoughts about others or the past. Wow, so you're moving beyond like your, limit, your limiting thoughts. And I, it did say transformation too. Okay. The energy of renewal is washing over your life at this time. Beautiful. It's like spring, huh? If for some reason you feel that your true self hasn't been recognized or you've been misread by others, know that this energy is now leaving you. As you've been working through your old stories and all the self-limiting beliefs. Wow, I just said that too that you've accumulated along the way, you've been peeling away a shield of skin that has created limiting experiences. I literally just said that too. I've never read this card before, so this is incredible. Your own personal commitment to growth has been recognized, and now the external world will begin to reflect all the work that you've been doing within. This is a beautiful energy. I am so proud of you. If you feel someone you love has misunderstood you recently, 
they will be able to see beyond that if you're willing to recognize your own challenges. Wow. So we were just talking about that as far as your relationship goes too. This is a time for renewal, abundance, and connection. Yay. Let yourself be reborn and celebrated. What a beautiful way to end this reading. Okay, I love, love, love the energy for you. How incredible. How beautiful, right? So congratulations on all of that beautiful energy. And I hope you enjoyed this reading. Ta-ta for now.